Brecky Breck, and today we're at the Oregon Coast Aquarium, and we get to learn about sea creatures here in Newport, Oregon. Are you ready? Come on, let's go! Oh, wow! Look at in here! There's a starfish, sea anemones. Oh, boy! <laughs> wow, these are all the things you could find on the beach when tide pools are around. <laughs> Look at this fish down here. Watch him move. Do you see his eyeballs at the top? Interesting. Oh, and this big giant starfish right there. Oh, let's keep exploring. Look at this. Now we're at the touch pool. We can actually feel some of these creatures. Oh, you see this sea anemone? Ooh, poke, poke. Oh, he's really gushy. <laughs> And these giant starfish, they're all piled up. Oh, wow. Those feel really soft, but slimy and hard and kind of rocky. <laughs> Watch this one. Oh, it's sticking to my finger. He's like, I'm going to eat your finger, Bricky Brick. Oh, boy. Oh. <laughs> Check out this crab right here. Wow. Can you walk like a crab? <laughs> That's how crabs walk, huh? <laughs> Look at this sunflower starfish. It's moving across the glass. Oh boy, it has so many tentacles on the bottom. Those are its legs and the way it eats. Whoa! Hey fish, what are you doing? Oh boy. You see they've kind of got a current going in here so he's feeling like he's moving, but he's kind of not really moving. <laughs> wow, now we're gonna go to the coastal waters. Jellyfish over here. Wow. They're beautiful and they move so gracefully, huh? Wow. You don't ever want to touch a jellyfish on the underside because it'll shock you. But on the top side, you can touch them. But don't ever touch a jellyfish or anything for that matter unless an adult tells you you can. Check out this tank over here. It's glowing so beautifully. Oh, wow, all the sea anemones in there. And the fish. Oh, fish. Oh boy, I wish I was a mermaid so I could swim around in there and breathe really easily. <laughs> wow, we have a china rock fish. A red Irish lord. Let's see if we can find any of this fish. Hmm. So looking at this red one right here, which one does he look like he could be? Hey, this is probably him. Vermilion rockfish. Ooh, hi there. <laughs> Prawn. Whoa! That's like a shrimp, lobster, crab looking thing. That's an interesting creature. Wow! -wee. And look at this guy. He's got claws. Oh boy. And look at these fish and this big sea anemone. Whoa! And he blends right in with the rocks. I almost didn't even see him. Whoa, buddy. That's called camouflage, blending in with your surroundings. That's a protective mechanism he uses to make himself safe. Look at these. This is called a lion's mane jellyfish. Wow, because his hair and tentacles are kind of crazy like a lion's mane. Wow, we. Oh, look at this guy. Puff. 
He's moving pretty quick. Oh boy, there are so many beautiful creatures. Let's keep exploring. Now we're gonna go into the bird exhibit. Come on, let's check it out. These are nesting seabirds, and they have a net over them to make sure none of them ex escape. Wow, look at it up there. That looks like a puffin, doesn't it? Look at it over here. This guy right here is called a tufted puffin. Oh boy, he's got cool looking hair. <laughs> Hi buddy, how are you doing? And those right there, those are called common murders. They've got really long pointed beaks. When you're with the birds, you want to move gently so you don't scare them or anything. Hi. How are you doing? Let's move on to the next exhibit. Whoa. In here we have sea lions. Let's see if we can find one. Hi there. Whoa, check him out. Ooh, his head's above water. Maybe he'll duck down. I wish I could scratch him on the head. He'd probably really like it. <laughs> wow. Oh my goodness. He's got whiskers. He reminds me of like a dog, but it's like a water dog. <laughs> They're really good swimmers. Look at this guy. These sea lions can hold their breath for a really long time. And when they fall asleep, they fall asleep kind of half asleep because they gotta be aware when they need to take a breath above the ocean. Oh boy. We're gonna go to the passages of the deep where we might see some sharks swimming overhead. Oh boy! Check it out over here! Whoa! That is a big shark jaw. Oh my goodness. of a Megalodon shark. Oh boy. I feel like this would have been able to swallow me whole and wouldn't even have to take a bite. <laughs> Woo! Are you guys ready? We're gonna go in the underwater open sea tunnel. Whoa, there's a shark. Wow, it has spots all over it.
Jacks. Hey, Jack and Manly. <laughs> I love the color yellow. Whoa, look at this big orange rockfish. Oh boy, they're kind of creepy looking. <laughs> and over here we have a sturgeon. Wowee! They like to suck on the things at the bottom of the ocean. Or a big body of water. Hey guys. I'm just checking out your home. It's pretty neat. Looks like you've got a sunken ship in here or something. Oh boy. Hey, look at this one. Let's take a picture together. That's great. Thanks, buddy. He's beautiful. He's the color orange and white. Look at this big halibut. Wow, we. that head poking out of the rocks down there? That's called a wolf eel. Oh boy, they like to dive down deep and hide. There's another one over here. They hide in the rocks so that when their food swims by, they can jump out and grab it really quick. Woo! Oh boy, sometimes at the ocean, it gets really, really windy, and the hurricane picks up. So guess what, over here, there's a hurricane simulator, and we get to test it out. Are you ready? Oh boy. But these guys are trained professionals. Hi there, buddy. Wow. Wow, wait, look at over here. There's a blue shark jaw. Oh my goodness. Ah, that's one big mouth. <laughs> and look at this megalodon tooth. Oh boy. Ooh, check this out. Look at these teeth. That's a lot of little teeth. This is called a big skate. Check out this leopard shark skin too. Wow, that's beautiful. And here's a leopard shark stuffed animal. Ooh, maybe he wants to go swimming with his friends in there. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> wow, well thank you so much. Wow, look at this giant helmet. Oh boy. And inside, there's some orange clownfish resting on the sea anemone. Do you see them in there? Clownfish are super pretty, huh? <laughs> a green moray eel, and it can grow up to eight feet long. Oh boy, it's kind of looks like a snake in the water, huh? A little bit scary. Look at this clown trigger fish. Wow, that's beautiful. Its spots are so unique. Whoa, this is a red lionfish. 
gosh, oh my goodness, that's beautiful. It looks really, really delicate, doesn't it? This right here is a porcupine balloon fish. And when he gets scared, or he's trying to act really brave, he puffs up really big <laughs> to intimidate any predators. Keep exploring. These right here are lime seahorse. Oh boy, and you can even crawl under. Watch. Look at over here. These are cute little sea otters. They love to roll around and play and scrub their tummies to get all clean. Oh boy. They can float really well too. at the sea lion docks. Wow, sea lions love to just bask in the sun. They're pretty lazy. Wow, look where we are. We're here at the Oregon coast. And now we get to look at real life tide pools out in the wild. <laughs> oh, oh, look at this one. See the shell right here? Oh, look at that! There's a snail inside! That is a living creature and it's a snail! We better put him right back! Oh boy! These are called barnacles. These hard things, they can kind of hurt your feet if you're barefoot. So be really careful around them. Let's keep exploring! Hi, bro. 
got some beach toys and a towel. Woo! Wow, you see my beautiful pretty towel? It's got purple and pink and orange on it. Those are really pretty colors. Hey, you want to go out to the water with me? Come on, let's go. A shell. Wowee. You can even rinse it off. Ooh, that's pretty, isn't it? <laughs> There's lots of beautiful treasures at the beach. Wow, it sure is windy here at the beach. <laughs> Look at those waves. Oh boy. I like to play a game where I go out just a little bit and then when the wave starts to come and I run away from them as fast as I can. Are you ready? Here it comes. Ooh, run away. Ooh. You have to be really careful at the ocean. You never want to turn your back to the ocean actually. You always want to pay attention and don't get too far out to where you can't come back and always have a parent close by.
I think that looks pretty good, Ricky Brook. All right, time to jump in. All right. Pretend he climbed in. All right. Back up, Sam. Here we go. shapes, colors, animals, sea creatures with this awesome box from KiwiCo. Oh boy. So this is ocean games for ages two years old and up. Let's see what's inside. Ooh, check it out. So this fun box comes with directions and pictures. Ooh, all the ideas for how to play this fun game. Wow, wee! Oh, look at this! There's some fish and turtles in here! <laughs> oh, 
a fishing pole, some color cards for the game we're gonna play, and a fun art project. I'll explain this one next. And a really cool book. Maybe we should read it when we're all done. Would that be fun? I think that sounds like a lot of fun. <laughs> okay, so the first thing we do is we pull out this map. This is gonna be our pond, our sea creature pond. Ooh, let's pretend it's a big ocean. <gasps> wow. This is the color blue. It's light blue, isn't it? It's kind of like a baby blue color. I like it, that's really pretty. <laughs> this right here, these are some felt sea creatures. Let's open it up. Ooh, wow. <gasps> Look at all these sea creatures. We have fish, starfish, Turtles, oh my goodness. All right, so today we're gonna explore and learn about our colors and our sea creatures. So here's how you play. You open up these cards right here. Ooh, and on it, it has a bunch of different uh, colors and labels like green, orange, purple, sea star, turtle and fish. Wow, this looks like a lot of fun. So here's how we're gonna play the game. This right here is a fishing pole. Ooh, that's fun. And it has Velcro on it. And these are felt shapes and animal sea creatures. Ooh, are you ready to play? Okay, I'm gonna pick up a card. It says turtle. Oh, okay, so now we have to go fishing with our fishing pole for a turtle. Do you see a turtle? Ooh, how about this one? Purple turtle. Oh, we got him. <laughs> Look at him. He stuck right to it. This is the color purple. And this is a sea creature that's a turtle. <laughs> we did it. All right, let's find another turtle. Ooh, let's see, can you see another turtle? Which one should I get? <gasps> Maybe this big one over here. <gasps> Ooh. Whoa, look what we got. It's an orange sea turtle. We've got a daddy one and a baby one. Hi, Dad. Hi, baby. How are you today? I'm doing really good, Dad. <laughs> good. <laughs> oh, good job. All right, let's pick another one. It says fish. Okay, now we gotta find a fish. Hmm, which one is a fish? Do you know what a fish looks like? Oh, we got him! What color is this? That's right, this is the color green. Here's a green mama fish. What, what face does a fish make? <laughs> That's how I do my fishes anyway. Oh, Ruger, how you doing, big boy? We're having fun. No, 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 don't get slobber on my game, buddy. <laughs> okay, let's pick another card. Green, this is the color green. So now we have to find something green. Hmm, what's green? Ooh, this, uh, oh, what is this? <gasps> A sea star. This sea star is the color green. And it's the shape of a star, it's so pretty. Ooh, have you ever seen a sea star before? I have, wow. Okay, let's see. <gasps> sea star, <laughs> we have to find another sea star. All right, let's do it. Let's get the rest of the sea stars. Boop, there's one orange sea star. Boop. Purple sea star. <laughs> Boop. A green sea star. Any more sea stars? <gasps> Two more. A purple big sea star. And an orange sea star. <laughs> I think we've got all the sea stars. Do you see any more? I don't. <laughs> Good job. 
All right, time to pick another card. Orange. All right, now we have to find the rest of the orange things. <gasps> Let's see. Orange! This is an orange fish, isn't it? <laughs> Good job! Okay. Orange turtle. Okay, one more orange thing. Hmm. <laughs> Ta-da! We did it! The last orange item, which is a sea creature and it's a fish. <laughs> Good job! Let's pick one more card and then we're done. Purple! This says purple. Okay, let's find the purple items. The purple creature is a fish! Oh, this is the color purple. Purple, can you say purple? Purple, purple, purple. That's a really pretty color. Okay. Boop! We got a purple baby fish. And one more purple. There it is. <laughs> this is a purple turtle. Wow, we did it. We found all the purple things. Good job, everybody. All right, so since we're done with this game, now we can put all these things away. We can even put the cards in here. Hold it up like this. Pack it away. Clip it shut. Oh, and I almost forgot. We can even put our fishing pole in here. And there you go, it's a game on the go. <laughs> That's really fun. Alrighty, and now I'm gonna show you how to make a really fun art project. Okay, well now it's time to make our art project. So check it out. We have a turtle and a fish, two sea creatures. All right, so the first thing that we're gonna do is open this little bag of tissue papers. These are colorful tissue papers. If I can get them out of here. <laughs> Ooh, okay. Whoa, look at all the colors we have. We have yellow, blue, purple, orange, and green. Oh, those are really pretty. All right, so for this project, what we're gonna do is peel off this sticky piece of paper here. Whoop. We're making a fun stained glass sea creature fish. Ooh. So now that this is all sticky, we're gonna take some tissue papers and stick it on. All right, let's do blue. Ooh, I love the color blue. Get a purple one. Oh, I'm trying to get it to stick. There we go. Ooh, and we cover all of this sticky part with these cute little tiny tissue papers. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. Red. Let's do another purple if I can get it. Purple. Blue. <gasps> I haven't put any green on here yet. Oh, don't fly away, papers. Oh, no! <laughs> okay, green. Put another green on there. Yellow again, because I love the color yellow. <gasps> Orange, that's a really pretty color too. <gasps> All right, now let's see what our sea creature looks like. Okay, I'm gonna set those over there so they don't fly away. <gasps> Look at that! See that? When we hold it up to the light, you can see all of our pretty colors. <laughs> this is our stained glass sea fish. <gasps> Ooh, oh, oh. check it out, Uncle Teddy. Oh, don't eat him. <laughs> he wasn't gonna eat him. <gasps> Uncle Teddy, I sure love this guy. He's one of my closest friends. <laughs> wow, Uncle Teddy, what do you think? Is that pretty cool? I really love it, Bricky Brick. That looks like a lot of fun. Oh, it sure is. <laughs> wow. Well, I might save this sea turtle for later. This is a really fun one. All right. Are you guys ready to read a book? 
Remember, they sent us this fun book in this box. I think it's time that we read it. Olive search for shells. Beach day, Olive called as she raced to fill her pail with shells. One, two, three shells. Whoa, she's on a roll. Oops, are you collecting shells too, Olive asked. No, replied Hugo. I need a new shell to live in. I've grown too big for mine. Hi, I'm Olive. Hi, I'm Hugo. Oh, those are kind of fun names. I can help you, offered Olive. I'm an expert shell finder. She bounced into action. Wow, thanks, said Hugo. <laughs> Olive found a shell in a cool tide pool, but it was too big. Well, it's really roomy. Oh boy, oh it says it's very roomy is what Hugo said. <laughs> Whoa, that is a really big shell, isn't it? Wow. She found another shell under some slippery seaweed, but it was too small. That might make a nice hat, said Hugo. <laughs> Look at, she brought her a tiny purple shell. Oh boy, that's a little bit small. Then Olive found a shell tangled in a fishing line, but it was too dull. Oh boy, that's not gonna be okay. Maybe a little more pizzazz. He wanted something a little more, uh, you know, funky and fresh, cause he's a cool Hugo little sea crab. Was he? I don't know. Okay, okay you're going, it's fine. She found a shell on the tip top of a sand castle, but it was too shiny. Whoa, too much pizzazz. They needed some sunglasses. Oh, well, this is so shiny. <laughs> That's funny. Olive searched in sand pails, behind boats, behind boat sails. I'm sorry, redo this page. Olive searched in sand pails, behind boat sails, on whale tails. <laughs> what? She's riding a whale's tail to search for a shell. Whoa! And everywhere in between, but still no luck. They can't find a perfect shell for Hugo. Tired and disappointed, Olive and Hugo plop down in the sand. Oh, can crabs live in jars? <laughs> yes. That's funny. No. Then Olive heard a sound, a soft and soothing sound. Whoosh. 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 <laughs> Aha! It was a shell! A beautiful, not too big, not too small, not too dull, not too shiny shell. And best of all, it sounded like the ocean. <gasps> Whoa, look at that! That's the perfect shell! Hugo moved right in. Wow! <gasps> At the end of her beach day, Olive hadn't just found shells. She found something even better, a new friend. <laughs> oh man, that is so fun. Look, at, and her sign even says, home sweet home. Hugo and Olive, best buddies. Oh, and look at this one. Hugo put on the old shell, vacancy, which means empty, ready for rooms. <laughs> Whoa, that's really cool. I love that story. Wow, that sure was a lot of fun reading this story and learning about sea creatures and colors with you today. Thanks so much for tuning in and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye. <laughs> hey, if you want to stay up to date on all of our fun adventures, be sure to hit the red subscribe button below. We'll see you next time. Parents, KiwiCo is a really fun subscription box where they can send you any science or art experiments based on the age that you ask. It's really fun. So check them out. Thanks a lot, KiwiCo. Bye-bye.